I just got this strong desire to jump on here and say this. There's a group of people that's coming, that's being prepared and trained right now. That's going to be terrible. You hear me? Terrible for Satan and his kingdom. Yep. There's a group of people who won't care whether you invite them on your platform or not. There's a group of people who don't even need a platform. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's a group of people that's coming with no fear at all. Persecution, they eat like candy. There's a group of people who is not going to care about their delivery. Mm -mm. How they get the message or the word out. Okay? There's a group of people who can care less whether you offended by what they say or not. There's a group of people that many of you are going to pray and want to get rid of them. Y'all gonna be like, don't, uh-uh, get rid of them people. We need them other people back. Get, bring them other believers back. These people, we don't want them. Why? Because when they open their mouth, there's nothing but fire coming out of it. There's a group of people that's coming. They're not going to be all dressed up in suit and tie. They're not going to be all cute and pretty. They're not going to be all they not going to be all decked out in the latest uh-uh. Mm-mm. The group of people that's coming, they might look like the walking dead. But they coming with fire in their belly. <laughs> so y'all going to want us back. These believers that, that can relate, the believers, oh, God is love, you know, just, just repent, the kingdom of God is at hand, you know, the patient ones, the kind ones, you know, y'all gonna, y'all gonna wish we were back. There's a group of people that their only mission, their only mission is to proclaim the word and the judgment of God. Shy, the brother of Joab, the 
son of Zeruiah, was chief among three. And he lifted up his spear against three hundred and slew them, and had the name among three. Was he not most honorable of three? Therefore he was their captain, albeit he attained it not unto the first three. And Ben I, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Tabziel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion like men of Moab. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in time of snow. And he slew an Egyptian, a goodly man. And the Egyptian had a spear in his hand. But he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did Ben Ahab, the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among three mighty men. He was more honorable than the thirty, but he attended not to the first three. And David set him over his God. Azahel, the brother of Joab, was one of the thirty. Elhan, the son of Dodo, Bethlehem. Shammah, the Herodite. Elika, the Herodite. Elez, the Paltite. Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite. Abiezer, the Anethathite. Mebunai, the Hushathite. Zalman, the Ahohite. Maharai, the Netophathite. Eled, the son of Bana, a Netophathite. Itai, the son of Ribai. Out of Gibeah, of the children of Benjamin. Benaiah, the Parathonite. Hidai, of the books of Gaash. Abiyabam, the Abathite. Asmaveth, the Bahamite. Eliaba, the Shaalbanite. Of the sons of Jashan. Jonathan, Shama, the Hararite. Ahiyam, the son of Shara, the Hararite. Eliphalet, the son of Ahasbai, the son of the Maakathite. Iliam, the son of Ahithophel, the Gelanite. Ezraai, the Carmelite. Paraai, the Arbite. Igal, the son of Nathan of Zobah. Bani, the Gadite. Zelek, the Ammonite. Naharai, the Barathite. Armabarat, Joab, the son of Zeruiah. Ira, and Ithrite. Gareb, and Ithrite. Uriah, the Hittite. Thirty and seven in all. Yashaana means he is a prince of power. So if your father is the most high, then what kind of power is he going to bestow upon you? In that day, shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. When you're a true power, you don't need guns. You don't need lies. You rule in truth because you are a true power. Just like Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. And that's how we're going to be. We're going to reflect that on earth. We're going to be true powers, man. True power? Shalom, shalom, Yahshua Allah. We'll start out first things first, giving all praise and glory to 
Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashirah Kadash, which in the Paleo Hebrew tongues, created as in the Holy Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, sister, brother, living is true, and Shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying, show yourselves approved. Shalom, woo, hey. What that Eve said lit a fire off in me, Yashra Allah. The Lord put it on her spirit to do that video and to put that out there to the world. And everything she said was true. Straight true. And little did she know, baby, hey, we already here. We are already here. We're just waiting to be activated. But we already here. And everything she said, like, hey, when the Lord give us that power, the Lord give us that power. Hey, we not going to play no games. Y'all sure like, hey, that's it. She said, man, these people, when they come, they're not going to show no mercy to Satan in this kingdom. And she right. She is so right. We not. We not. You know, I'm putting my bid in. Lord willing, I want to be 144,000 so, so bad. That is like my desire. I now know what I want to be in life. I now know what I was created to do. I know my purpose, I know my ID, and I'm ready to do the will of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, I make it part of that precious group. Cause she don't, I don't know if she knew what she's talking about. She's talking about the 144,000. So she feeling it. A lot of people are feeling it. Esau feeling it. Like, hey, we about to come with it. Yashra, we about to come with it straight up. And you can just feel that power, man. You feel it bubbling up. Because, like, quick testimony, Yashrallah. I've always had this hatred for Esau, always. But, you know, the world teaches you to suppress that. What I find out is I'm not supposed to suppress that. The Lord put that there for a reason. And Lord willing, I do what I'm supposed to do. And I'm part of the 144,000. I get to unleash that. And be what I want to be and do what I want to do, which is put hell on Esau. Like the things I want to do to Esau is like, the best way to describe it is like, go look up a game called Mortal Kombat. Go look that up, y'all Shrala. I want to do fatalities to Edomites. Like that, that's a desire I have every day, especially when I be at work. I be looking at them and I'll be like, man, Lord's where I get that power, man. I just be... I just be thinking about all the little things I'm going to do to these Edomites, man. Because they deserve it. So literally she knows. She said we've been in training, which the Lord is training us. We're reading this word. We're singing a song on the high one edge. We're putting in the work. We've been watching what Esau's been doing. Watching what he's doing. Um, getting talked about. Put down. Like we got a lot of anger built up. And I'm ready to unleash it on Esau. I'm ready to unleash it. You know, I'm looking at this devil as he's destroying the earth, uh, destroying the people of Israel. And right now it's like we can't do nothing about it. We're so helpless just sitting here. All we can do is serve the Lord. But it's going to come a time where the Lord is going to give us the power. When we get them crowns, that's why Yahweh is known as the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He's going to raise up kings. And the power that comes with that we're going to take from Esau. We're going to take the world back. New heavens, new earth. Yeah, the scriptures say. And we're going to be nothing nice, man. The scriptures support that. Let's get to the scriptures. Man, that what she said, man, that lit me up so... Man, I was at work, man. I couldn't even contain my excitement when I seen that, that video, y'all, Sharala. I'm like, oh, yeah, certain Eves is feeling it. They feeling it, man. They feeling what we feeling. So it lets me know we getting close. We getting real close to where the Lord is going to light us up. And how I feel deep down inside, I get to do that. I get to do it. So let's go to the start with Psalms. Because that's what's in me, y'all. I fight back that terror I want to do on Esau. You know, and like since I got in this truth and I realized... That I'm not supposed to suppress that. What I feel is righteous. And I'm supposed to feel that. Man, I let it build up. Y'all sure I let it build up. So Lord willing, 
Cause I'm putting in, I'm giving my all. I want to. I'm trying to do everything in my power to be a part of the 144,000. Because I want to be a part of putting Esau in subjection. I want to be a part of that. I want to set up the kingdom with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. So check it out. This is in our word right here. So this would make sense right here. You read Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Verse 8. Arise, O God, judge the earth, but thou shalt inherit all nations. The Lord called us gods, man. When we get that spiritual power, when you look at Superman, Superman was tailored after the, that's, that's a, a 144,000 right there. His name is Cal El. It's Paleo Hebrew for all power. I would love to have Superman skill set. You look at the movie with The Rock, um, Black Adam, you know, all these Avenger movies, all that, man, that's all about the X-Men. That's all about the, the 144,000 right there. They're all men. The 144,000 are all men. And we're going to have special abilities to where Esau is not, his military is not going to stand a chance against us at all. We're going, it's going to be child's play. Like she said, we're going to eat persecution like candy. We're not going to ask to be on your platform. We're not going to ask for nothing. We're going to tell Esau what to do. Get in these chains. Get on that auction block. Pick this vineyard up. Or he's going to get, you know, destroy like we we not gonna man we're gonna do the lord's will man like Esau ain't gonna better tell us nothing he's gonna better negotiate with us none of that none of that we're gonna tell esau what to do like esau gonna see the power of your how about shower shot and how you gonna see you gonna see it through his men you're gonna see it through his men and then when we get the power you know your house shot gonna be here in the midst we're gonna do things like this Go to Luke 19.27. And Yahweh Shah said, this is Luke 19.27. But those my enemies, which are not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. That is going to be my good pleasure to do that to Esau before our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. My good pleasure. Like you want him? Do him like what? I'm going to do it because I want to do that. It's been in me for a long time. Um, whew, what, I, what I seen that for Eve to say that the Lord put on her spirit to say that and for us to see that and it just now I see why I've always liked superhero movies why I've always been you know I've always liked like when brothers do less spiritual powers is like my favorite lesson to listen to because that's going to be a reality these people going to think they in a, a sci-fi movie when we get our abilities you know Lord willing I'm part of that group because, boy, I'm doing everything I can to be in that group. I want that crown for my Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. I want that crown, Yashrallah. And I want to, you know, do very bad things to Esau, to Edomites. You know, I mean, that's going to light me up. That's going to be life to me. To put my hands on Esau very viciously. Woo, hey, that right, that's going to be life. That's living. Right now, we're not living. I'm not, I can't do the things I want to do. But when Yahweh Shah gets here and gives us our crown, we get that power. I'm able to be who I want to be and do what I want to do. I don't have to suppress anything anymore. I don't have to be harmless as a dove anymore. No, it's time, hey, it's time to put hands on Esau. Straight up. Let's go to Zechariah 12 and 8. These watching them clips, man, that's going to be reality. Watching Bright Burn, Superman, Black Adam. That's going to be reality in a minute, man. That's why I said, man, hey, baby, we already here. You ain't got nothing to fear of Esau's military. We get them abilities, man. Esau going to be running like roaches. She see, I mean, she said a mouthful when she said it, man. They going to be like, I, I don't want them here. Please, they're going to be scared, man. They're going to give it up. Like, hey, man, I'll work. Just don't do me like you did, little Johnny. I'll work real hard. <laughs> you know, because, hey, we're going to get creative how we're going to do these devils. So check it out. This is Zechariah 
12 and 8. And it says, In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day should be as David. And the house of David should be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. And in verse 9, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all nations that come against Jerusalem. All they ain't nobody gonna be able to go against Yahshua in that day when that righteous military gets raised up. Because we're already here. We're already here. Little did she know, baby, we already here. And we doing what we're supposed to be doing. We putting in the work. We've been, hey, the Lord is training us. He's getting us ready to receive that power. We getting our instructions on how to set up a kingdom, a righteous kingdom. That's the first thing first we got to do. Once that's been established, then he's going to give us the abilities to implement it. And part of the implementation is going to be putting Esau in subjection. Beat down. Hey, he said the weak of us going to be like King David. King David was a mighty man, taking out thousands of men. So that means... Ain't none of us going to be weak. None. <laughs> none of us. We're going to become with that power. He said, hey, the house of David should be as God, man. We're going to have powers like your shot. Hey, doing work. He said, do works greater than I did. Psh, these, man, these people going to give it up when they see it. These, these heathens going to be, hey, I don't want no smoke with y'all, Sharala. I'll do all the work, whatever you need me to do. They're going to call us Lord. <laughs> They're going to respect the nation of Israel. You know, we patiently waiting on that. Because we're going to make them, man. We're going to make them. We're going to do things to them. They're going to be terrified of Yashar Allah. And we are patiently waiting on that, man. The saints, the 140 stars, those are saints. We are waiting on that day. And we're getting close. We're getting close. We ain't got to wait too much longer. I see the way prophecy is moving. And you can see Eve starting to feel it. Eve starting to feel that power. You know, it dang there. She was talking. You can tell she had a little fear in her heart as she said it. Like, man, she said these people are going to be terrible. <laughs> man. And she's saying, boy, she has no idea, boy, the stuff that's in me that I want to do to these heathens. Woo! I'm telling you, y'all, Sharala. I'm ready to get down on these devils, man. Get down on them. So... Right now, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're hitting the highway and hedges. We're putting out lessons. We're singing the song. Because the 145,000, they're going to sing that song. That's why the elder in Alabama always say the brothers on the highway and hedges, man, that group right there is a special group. You know, brothers that put their life on the line to put this word out. Hey, man, 144,000 going to set up the nation of Israel. We're going to run through these, these heathen militaries like a hot knife through butter. I mean, an F-16 going to be nothing to us. A tank going to be nothing to us. M-16, that's going to be nothing. They don't have, they ain't going to have a weapon, man. A little, what, the droid army, robot dogs and robot tournament. Man, we going to crumple them up like toys. <laughs> like send some more. That was a nice little workout. Ain't nothing this devil got that's going to withstand the 144,000, that military that the Lord is going to raise up. Let's go to Revelation 15 and 3. Because she's like, they're being trained up right now. And we are. He's training us up in what? This word. And we eating this word. And once we got it, we were singing the song. We don't know how we had just a song we singing. What's that song we singing? It's the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which goes into this truth. We're lacing the nation up with this truth, man. That's a song. So this is Revelation 15 and 3. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great marvelous are thy works, Lord Yahweh Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thy king of saints. Woo! You hear that? King of the saints. Lord of Lord, king of kings. You know? And that's that, hey, when it said that song of that Lamb, man, that's talking about Yahweh's shop right there. And it said the song of Moses, man, which we bring the lost commandments with us because we're going to institute that in the kingdom of heaven. That's why it irks me when these little two-thirds talking about the lost commandments done away with. No, they not. That's going to be the new government, the new rules in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to enforce that. If you ain't 
keep the lost commandments, hey, you're going to pay a big penalty, man. You got to answer to us for that. And we might, hey, we might do something real gruesome to you. You know, we're not going to play no games with these heathens at all. At all, man. So let's get let's get on who the, who they are, man, because it's a roll call. As I say, Pastor Porch, I don't read this stuff, man. Plants Christianity ain't talking about nothing. They'll tell you where the 144,000 is coming from. They're all coming from the tribe of Israel. So this ain't about everybody. It's only about Israel. So check this out. It's Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And they were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All the saints are coming from Israel. All of them. You know, sealed. Sealed with what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashiach was shy. And once we're sealed, I don't want to hear no whole tech comedic Islam. None of that. None of that. We're not, that's not going to be in our kingdom. Everybody going to have to worship Yahweh Bashiach was shy. Point blank, period. So you get a roll call of where they're coming from. Man, I said, of the tribe of Judah, we're sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephitali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Ishkar was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. You know? And those 144,000 right there are going to establish the hope we lack, the women and children that are coming into the kingdom and is going to be part of the first fruits. They're going to be saved and, you know, they're going to be well taken care of because the 144,000 are going to make sure they are. They're going to, we're going to protect the whole nation. We don't give a damn about Esau military, uh, Moab's military. It was Chinese, um, the Arab, which is Ishmaelite, his military. We're going to run through that, man. The children of Israel ain't going to have nothing to worry about. You know, the hope we lack. Woman and child ain't going to have nothing to worry about. They're going to be very well taken care of. Because those saviors are going to take care of them. Yahweh Shai got a military that's already here. I said, people don't know that. It's not like only the house of David know that. The military is already here. We're just waiting to be activated. And to like further prove that, let's go to Obadiah 1 and 21. And saviors shall come upon my Zion to judge them out of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Woo, did you peep that? It says saviors, plural. Those are those gods. Those are those saints. The 144,000. They're going to judge Esau. How? Hey man, we're gonna hey, we're gonna do some vicious things to them. That's what we're gonna do. Cause they deserve it. Now, I'm gonna get a kick out of the stuff I do to these Edomites, Yashrala. And they said the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Why? Because we're gonna take it, man, by force. And that's scriptural. It's a little two-third week, cooned out Sambo. And hey, they can't handle that, man. They be no do them like that. That's wrong. And guess what? He's gonna get it next too. It's going to crumple up them two-thirds, too, man. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. When, I, when I'm messing Esau up, you better be saying the Lord's name when I'm doing it. That's the theme song right there. I bet That's all I better hear. I better not hear, don't do them like that. They're wrong. Hey, you not, you're going next. I'm doing you next, man. You need to reset. You're going next. I don't want to hear that. They said that day, I'm not going to have to hold back no more. Because Sambo Coons get on my nerves too. I can't stand these soft, weak, devil-loving Israelites. I can't stand them. And here's to prove that. You know, we probably, I'm going to leave off with this right here. This is Micah 4 and 13. It reads, Arise and thrash, O daughter of Zion, for I make thy horn iron, and I make thy hooves brass, and they shall beat in pieces many people. And I will concentrate their gain unto the Lord and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. They, they tell us to hand out cupcakes and bonbons and hey amen. Please, would you do? No, man. He said beat in pieces. Many people. 
That's what we're going to do. Lord willing, we get that power. Lord willing. He said, arise and thrash. What that mean? You don't tell me to hug and, and be not. No, no, no. But Lord, give me that power. Hey, it's terror time, man. I'm going to be a terror to these heathens. Straight terror. And the Lord going to make us strong. He said, make your horn iron. Iron is a very hard metal. Who's brass? The Lord said, he's basically saying, this priest said, he's going to strengthen us. And he is. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel that power coming every single day, y'all, So, Lord willing. Woo, Lord willing. Because I'm doing my part. I'm putting my bid in, man. I want to be a saint. I want to be part of the 144,000. I want to be in that. So, that's why I do what I do. That's why I hit the highway hedges. I put these, these video pistols out, the lessons. You know, to edify Yasharala because I want that, you know, and, and that's not to say if I just be, be in the hopeful elect, I'll be angry or something. Uh, if I'm part of the hopeful elect, I'm good. I'm good. It's just what I desire is to be 144,000 because I want to be one of the hunters, the, the the grab Esau up out them bunkers, man. I want to I wanna do some things to Esau. And it's always been on my spirit to do that. And I'm finding out that that's not a wrong thing for me to feel like that. I'm supposed to feel like that. So now I'm cultivating that. And, you know, at the right time, I get to be myself. You know, we got to we gotta pretend to get along these heathen nations. I'm tired of pretending. You know, I'm ready to, you know, man, pull out that rod of ironing, man, and do some things to them, man. I'm ready to make them, hey, get down, I lay down. I'm ready to tell these heathens that. I'm ready to take back what's ours. This world, this earth is ours. It belongs to us. When the Lord give me that power, I'm going to take it back. And that's how I feel. That's what I believe. That's my faith. Hey, and, I, and I'm, man, everything is just saying, yeah. Everything is just lining up, man. Nobody just... The, the Spirit of the Lord made that Eve do that video. And she probably, man, she just trying to get out the best she could. She probably didn't know what all she was saying. She just saying, like, I feel there's some people coming, man. <laughs> and there ain't going to be nothing nice. And she's right. I feel like she was talking to me when she was saying that. Because I'm like, man, everything she said, oh, she's right. I'm not going to be asking them, can I do, man. Whew. Things I'm going to do to these heathens, especially Esau. Ooh, I hate Esau. I cannot stand Edomites. Can't stand them. So Lord wills, I get that power. And I can just, man, be that terror to Esau. Like, do to him how I feel. Like, I be at work, I just be looking at the Edomite like, man. Man, I just want to just, you know. I ain't trying to get the lesson clip, so I can't even just express all the things I want to do to them, y'all. Sure. They be feeling it, too. Like, I be looking at the Edomite sometimes. I be thinking about all the things I'm going to do to them. And he'll turn around and just try to act super nice to me. I'm like, dang, you felt that stir, huh? You felt that. <laughs> you know? And I do it a lot. I just be looking at him. I just be like, man. You know, kind of like a lion looking at, you know, like a gazelle or something. I just be looking at him like, boy, Lord, give me that power. Man, hey, man, it ain't going to be nothing nice, Esau. I mean, I'm going to have fun with it, too, man. I might do it slow. I want to hear him holler. I want to hear him holler in agony. You know, I want her bones crack. You know, that's going to, woo, that's going to excite me when I do that. You know, I'm just, man, the things I want to do to these Edomites, y'all, I can't express it enough. And that, woo, that Eve said that, that, that lit up a fire in me, man. Because she, it's like she was talking to me. It's like she was saying, like, she, she, I'm like, man, that she's so right. She's so right. We, we already here, though, baby. We already here. And we about to, hey, we just waiting on the Lord to give us what we need to do what we need to do. You know, like a pit bull coming out to shoot. Hey, Lord, man, when the Lord unleash me. I'm going to do how I feel. I'm going to do what I've been feeling.
to these Edomites, man. They're going to be, whoo, boy. Boy, boy, boy. My first group of, of slaves, of Edomites. Oh, man. Oh, man. The things I'm going to do to them. So I'm just over here just meditating terror, Yashrala, and, you know, thinking about the kingdom, thinking about the power. And it just, man, it's things that just rejuvenate me. Got me excited. And I just, I feel it. It's close. We real close. We real, real close. I can feel it. So with that, I just, I hope this is edifying. I want to say Kwame Yashrala, Detail Baba Bob, Shalom.